What are you asking? What did you think about playing against him about his length, oh, okay. how tough he is to play? Um, I mean, um, he's going to be good. It's still early in the season, obviously. But, you know, once he figures out where uh, he's going to be getting his shots and uh, reading defenses, I think he's going to be good. I feel like he got more aggressive, uh, like a more aggressive mentality as he started this uh, season off. He, you know, he'll just keep getting better. Uh, it's fun, man. Um, the kid is obviously very talented, but, um, I mean, he's, he's every bit of, uh, you know, a special talent and individual. He just takes up so much space on the floor with his length. He's tall, man. He's, he's tall. He's tall. Uh, I got a bright future, man. Obviously, he's uh, one of a kind type of player, and uh, he's going to keep getting better each and every year. And uh, Just unfortunately not, we won the game, so. Um, you know, he's one of a kind, as, as we all know. He's going to get better each and every year during the season, as long as he keeps focused and keep improving this game, but he'll be fine. Uh, not me personally. He wasn't on me much, but uh, <clears throat> you know it's there. You know, that's, that's all you need to know stands out with him is like you're used to seeing him in the paint seven footer seven three like just sitting at the rim like with him he's on a perimeter like he's dribbling it in a transition like he's he's at the rim he's not at the rim like you know you're always like looking to see where the hell is he at like he had a play against russ where russ went to the paint and Russ, you know, it's his pattern. Like, he'll get to the paint, he'll skip, kind of survey the floor. And I, I'm watching him, and he, like, it's just like this long ass arm comes <laughs> and, like, tips the ball from behind. <laughs> Until Russ was like, Yo. Like, Who the fuck? <laughs> he did something where, like, he was under the rim, he caught it <laughs> mid air, and then, like, just guided it, dunked it into the rim. I was like, Oh my God. Like watching his progression to, to where he is now as a rookie. I mean, I, th I think for me, it's, um, it's his mindset. It comes down to the way uh, he's working on his body. The dedication that he has. He put in, you know, the last three months uh, since the draft. Uh, it's paying off. And I, and I saw I saw a big difference from uh, from between summer league and between uh, preseason. Uh, I can't even imagine uh, how he's going to, you know, evolve. Yeah. yeah, it's just a unique player. It's going to be a force in this league for a long time. Continue to just once he continue to get experience under his belt, he's just going to get even better. Um, he's an unbelievable talent. You know, I think everybody knows that. Um, and just trying to figure out what he is because we've never seen him before. You know, so we got him early in the season. Hopefully, next time we play him, we can make some adjustments to make it tougher on him. But you know, he he, he has an advantage being seven four and being able to shoot over everybody. So it's finding different ways to make it tough on him. But he had a hell of a night. I mean, I love it because you really love it. it. Was it was it was fun? You know, uh, we knew the whole building is gonna be loud and everything uh, you know he's probably one of the best prospects to enter the NBA so uh, it was fun you know uh, for me personally I like challenges so that was a fun challenge what was some of your major takeaways from seeing Wimby for the first time in person he's tall <laughs> that's really it um, what was he's got to be an NBA veteran to catch that one <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was really good I thought he was really good um, obviously you guys know Wimby's a special player and just understanding the nuances of guarding him and obviously he's a, he's a special player with a lot of room to grow and I'm sure when we see him again he's going to become an even better player than he is right now but I thought we did a great job defensively and offensively of making him defend and um, I thought we did a good job. Isaiah took it as a challenge to face Victor. I mean Mitch already said it so <laughs> he, he you know he backed up his words. What's, what's the feeling of win to him? Well, you had the matchup with Wembenyama. What was it like going against someone that tall and having to defend the, the, when the ball's up that high. Yeah, he's a very gifted player. Um, it's like you think you can block his shot, but you can't. Like his wingspan is so long. But nah, he's he's a really good player. He's gonna be really good in this league. Oh, the shot where you got him on the wrist, like you, is that I as promise, high as you could have gotten? I thought I was gonna block the shot, but <laughs> thought again. Let's stick with the defensive point. I mean, what was what was just, I don't want to say your mindset, but what was your kind of approach to him? When you got he, he's definitely tall, but being physical with him, that's really the only thing you can do. Like, I think I got like an early foul on him, just like kind of setting the tone, like it's not going to be easy type of thing. It's, all you can do is just try to stay in front and, and contest his shots. Like, he's going to still be able to get his shots off. He's going to make some, can't overreact. Just get back and, and play, play the other side of the basketball. Yeah, you just try your best to study the film before you play him. Um, understand what he, you know, likes and wants to like wants to do. 
But for me, it was just a matter of being physical, make sure he doesn't get to his spots. Any shot that he takes, you know, you challenge and you don't, you swipe, so you, you affect the shot even down low. And with great energy and physicality, so that way he feels off balance a little bit. Not really. He put his arm in my neck, so it's one of those where I think that he didn't intentionally do it, but he's also 7'5", so it reminded me of my rookie year when I played with Taco. Like, he doesn't know where his body was, and, you know, when a guy just short is guarding him, you know, expect that you normally hit in the chest, but he hit my, my full neck. I could ask you if you've ever guarded anybody like uh, Victor, but I'm pretty sure I know the answer. What was the, uh, what was the experience like? Oh, yeah, it was just super unique. Never seen anyone that tall in life. So, yeah, he's really tall, <laughs> covers a lot of ground. Yeah, he changes the game. Just try to make it difficult, try to jump, but he's too tall and see if he misses it. <laughs> Just try to be, make it as hard as possible, but he's definitely very agile. He's a good mover. Yeah, he's just very, very athletic. Yeah, I know, just, he's too tall. <laughs> he's way too tall. No, I don't know. I thought, <laughs> I don't know. His, I don't know. I thought, you thought the rim was going to be gonna, that, Yeah, right? but too tall. <laughs> and he's a special player, extremely special player. When he's rolling, you, you have to be under him because if they throw the ball up, there's literally nothing you can do. But I don't think our slow start was attributed to him. Obviously, he, he had it going at the beginning of the game, but um, I think that was, that was on us. But he's definitely, he's definitely a special player. Jalen, what was it like? guarding a 7-4 guys? Uh, it was fun. Um, it's always fun to guard, you know, other other special players, and uh, he's a special talent. I definitely felt little. Damn. Yeah, and I, I don't think there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to feel that way. But, um, yeah, he's a special talent. It's always fun to, you know, compete against that and get a different look at him. So. Yeah, it's, uh, London, yeah, uh, uh, what is it like? Yeah, um, you know, he's shot blocker when he's out there on the floor. You know, he's really, every time you're by the rim, you just got to really watch out for him, see where he's at on the floor because, you know, he's coming to try to block the shot. Um, so just trying to be aware of where he's at on the floor. I think that's why we got a lot of a good kick out threes today. That was mostly one of the effects of, of that. I'm just being ready to block a shot. So being able to kick out three, uh, he's trying to go for the blocks uh, and then just trying to be able to attack from there. Which is a mix of skills and size. Um, it's difficult, you know, it's something, something that you don't really see every day, you know, so tall and his ability to shoot the ball, it's like you really can't contest and affect it, but you got to try to do your work early and just be physical with him and try to make it tough on him. You can catch him. Just man, and I did just try to, you know, just be physical with him and contest and hope he miss. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, um, him so tall and, and, and being able to cover, cover so much space, it's like, it kind of catches you off the bar because, you know, you want to shoot it, but he's really there. But then you can try to drive around him. So it's just something you gotta be prepared for when you play him. And I'm glad, I'm glad I got to, got to play him in preseason because a lot of people don't get to experience that length and get that get that head start. So I'm glad we got to I got to see it. I mean, he's he's definitely somebody that that you got to think twice before you get to the paint because he's so tall. Uh, but hey, you know, uh, we took advantage of uh, just by being physical with him and uh, make it tough for him. What do you think of the way Obi played and how he defended Victor? <laughs> I think I think Obi did a great job. You know, I mean, obviously, how highly touted uh, Victor is coming to the league. I mean, stuff he do is amazing. I mean, I mean, he's seven six. You know, for Obi, like what six eight, six nine, for him to be able to to guard him and make him make shots tough for him is an amazing thing, and it just shows that he has that defensive versatility that we need. I mean, no, nobody has. I mean, I mean, you see, you see guys like Yao Ming and. Uh, and uh, Manu Bowl, like you see that, but I mean, not many bigs are as mobile as how he is, and right. that's that's like one of the most wild things you see about it, and just being able to like witness it is crazy.